Oluwatso Bionyi Lola is a telecommunications graduate of Tai Sholari University of Education in Jago in Ejebode area of Ogun State. The young tech genius, also an embedded systems engineer, has over the years been making his mark in the industry by providing Internet of Things solutions, as he is fondly called Internet of Toby among his peers. But Toby, despite his wins, is determined to continue to make an impact in his society, especially his alma mater. While you know, studying during undergrad, I had these issues of power. Anytime I want to work on my laptop, there's not going to be power for me to charge my laptop. And then I felt like, how can we solve this problem? Solar Pocha gives you three things. Power, internet, and a space to work. You know, and then from my experience of issues with how to power my laptop, Solar Pocha was able to solve that completely. And students can come any time, any day, and use the workstation. They only need to do one thing, book the workstation ahead of time. Solar Pocha is an outdoor solar charging station that provides off-grid clean energy to power mobile and portable devices, LED lighting, Wi-Fi and IoT booking capabilities in the form of a canopy table with seating. Building Solar Pocha came naturally to Toby with his background in IoT and so within a space of about three months, he built the workstation using materials readily available to him. I started working on it by just a sketch. I tried to check online to see is there something related to that. I couldn't find anyone with IoT whereby a student can book or you know the online booking management system. So it took me roughly like three or four months to kind of finish with both the construction, the IoT parts, the finishing torch and then installation. Uh, the materials were sourced locally. Um, it was constructed in Ibadan. I was able to get a few technicians to work together to kind of physically build uh, the, the whole workstation, you know. So for the inverter, the IoT, because it was COVID period, we couldn't source anything from outside Nigeria. So we have to use all the materials that are available in Nigeria. For example, the IoT parts, there's no way to do printer circuit board outside Nigeria during COVID. So I had soldered everything, you know, just with my hand. So which makes it more difficult, but then we're able to deliver the job and that's really important. Toby built the workstation for his university and with the help of the school's administration, he was able to position it at a strategic point. Accessing the functions of the station can only be done via a booking system on the school's portal. This area that we are, they call it Internet Zone because the Wi-Fi was able to broadcast across this region. So any student that doesn't even want to see it inside on the workstation, they can use their phone or their laptop within this radios and still use the works, use the Wi-Fi of the workstation. For a student, a qualified student, they, of course they have a magic number, so automatically it's integrated to their school portal. They only need to go to the school website, which is workstation dot whatever school, like Taishulari, and then book like the workstation. They have only two hours a day. Imagine a school of over 23,000, so we can't accommodate all the students, so we give them access to use it at least two hours a day. So when they book the workstation, they need to come to the physical workstation, they can't use it in their house. So when they reach the workstation, they need to log in with their, you know, the same magic number and the password, and the workstation will dedicate a seat number for them. They need to look for the seat number and just go ahead and sit with it, sit on it, and then turn on the sockets, and it works for that single student. Having stable electricity is a concern for many in the country, as a lot of households turn to alternative power sources for use. Hence why Oluwatobi thought of using solar power that is not only free for all, but has no environmental hazard. We all talk about the CO2 emission as well. We want um, a world that is free of emission. Using the power of sun, it's free. You know, it makes it even more important for us to use solar panel. We don't want to use the normal because it's not even always available, it's not constant. But for this, it's always going to be available. You know, it's one of the reasons why we decided to use solar and of course environmental uh, reason as well. 
So for this workstation, we've got the inverter. The inverter is like 5 kV inverter. It's inside, which could power more devices than this. And the battery, uh, the capacity, even without sunlight, can last up to like a week. Uh, we've got the IoT parts, which is my own field. It costs like, <laughs> sorry, it has microcontroller, which is what we call the processor. So all the students automatically, when they book the workstation, the microcontroller send a signal to each its particular socket they booked, and then they have access to it. We've got the solar panel as well. We've got the radio. One of the radio receive direct broadcast from the ICT center, and the other radio just broadcast and make this like a radius. Oluwa Toby used his personal funds for this project, but hopes to get partnerships from schools and organizations that want workspaces within the environment. Toby was on the engineering team working on Elon Musk's Hyperloop and has invented over 15 IoT-enabled hardware products, many with a mission to change the world.